I thought today I would finally try and talk a little bit about social phobia, my experiences with it, and um, I'm sure I'll leave things out because I just find it really hard to concentrate lately. Um, but um, I guess firstly, what a lot of social phobia, what I mean. Social phobia is basically um, worrying or having a fear of um, what people think of you and what um, that they might be sort of judging you and, and thinking negative things about you or, or things that you do. Um, I, have, I was diagnosed with it when I was 14. Um, but I would say that I have had it since I was maybe around five or six when I started school um, and I was always like from and I was always quite shy and had trouble talking to people had trouble making friends and keeping friends um, but yeah, it's, a, it's gotten worse, obviously, over the years that have gone by because it hasn't really, it hasn't been properly treated. Um, but yeah, um, things that I get, I worry about, and um, in a social situation, uh. Mostly, well, ma mainly the main thing is like just talking to people or talking in front of people. Um, um, feel like I hate being the centre of attention. I hate people looking at me and feel like every. I feel I hate the feeling that everyone might be focusing their attention on me and just staring at me. Um, another thing that I get. I hate about being in a social situation. I I really don't like eating in front of people. Sounds weird. Um, but yeah, that's one thing that I get really Im I get worried about. Um, and I yeah, I mean a lot of it is because I feel that a lot of it with the social phobia stuff is that you feel like you're going to be something's going to happen that will embarrass you or that you'll do something that will embarrass yourself um, in front of people. Um, so yeah, another thing is writing in front of people. <laughs> it sounds another it sounds stupid again. Um, when I was younger I used to, um, every time I had to go to the chemist to pick up a prescription, I would um, I'd go really red and blotchy and shake and my heart would start beating and going crazy um, just from having to do my signature. Um, I worried that people would were watching me while I was doing it and I'd worry that people would think maybe that's not me, it's not my signature, I'm making it up, um, those kinds of things. Another thing that would happen quite often when I was younger was that um, I'd be crossing a, crossing at a set of traffic lights and I'd be worried that um, all the people waiting in traffic would be looking at me and um, again that would cause me to start having heart palpitations and and panic, feeling panicky and um, I'd go red and blotchy. That's uh, um, one of the really big things with me with um, social phobia is um, I do go uh, red or blush um, quite badly, and um, and I go blotchy and just looks horrible. I look like I've got some kind of I don't know disease or have a weird allergy problem or something. It's not very pretty, and it also just physically feels horrible. It feels like it's burning burning your face and um, that's one thing that's just that 
has stopped me from doing a lot of things because I've kind of then had grown a fear of the going red thing just from going out. So I that stopped me from doing a lot of things. Um, yeah, other things that can happen to me, like I said before, were um, the heart palpitations and feel like my heart's jumping, beating really fast and um, dry mouth, um, sweating and um, feeling dizzy, um, feeling sick. Um, There's lots of things. I can start panicking and having a panic attack. But panic attacks, panic, anxiety disorder is different to social phobia. That's something I'll talk about later on maybe. Um, that's just, yeah, it's a bit, they're similar but they're different. Anyway, um, so there's some of the things that can happen to me when I'm in a social situation. And so basically I try to avoid any social situation that I can. Um, if I am in one, if I'm out or have, if I'm in someone's house or in the past when I've been at a party or whatever, then I'll quite often find myself having to um, feel like I have to go to the bathroom and look in the mirror and make sure that my face isn't red and blotchy and and just try to cool myself down with water or whatever because like I said it really burns and it just then that sensation of the burning makes me think it's that I am red even if I'm not and then it does actually cause me to start going red because I start worrying about it more um, so I'll either, yeah, have to go and disappear for a while or um, I might even just leave the situation, like the, wherever I am, altogether. Um, they say you shouldn't do that in order to overcome that kind of thing. It's like the fight or flight situation, the stick it out and apparently your social levels, I mean, they'll they're supposed to, the anxiety levels are supposed to drop slowly, but um, I don't tend to do that and or give myself the opportunity or time to do that. I just find it really too hard. Um, 